hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to find support reaction of this beam this is the analysis of statically determinate structures example 2 so as you see this is a fixed beam so and there is a distributor load on the beam first we have to determine support conditions so as i said before there is only one support condition which is fixed and you can see free end and fixed end fixed end is marked as a and this value is 15 kilo newton per meter and this is 5 kilo newton per meter so this is not a uniformly distributed load and beam length is 12 meters before i grow free body diagram i'm going to analyze this distributed load if we have fixed support we usually mark three components which are two force components and one moment component so next i'm going to analyze this distributed load for that i draw line through this then i divide this distributed load into two parts this is the top part this is the bottom part first i consider bottom part So this is the length you can see I marked as 5 I got from this distributed load value and here height is 15 kN per meter let's say 15 if this height is 15 and this bottom part height is 5 this length comes as 10 so you can see dimensions of this distributed load I will use in uh, next steps So I will consider this bottom part alone and now you can see it became uniformly distributed load. So distributed intensity is 5 kN per meter. So that means uh, 5 is the height of this distributed load we normally consider like that and length is 12 meters. Now I have to find resultant force of this distributed load. We know if we have uh, uniformly distributed load we can find R finding this area so how I find this area this height is 5 and this length is 12 I can find resultant force as 12 times 5 it comes 60 kilo Newton so this is the area of this distributed load so I wrote it here as 60 kilo Newton and not just that we have to find acting point if we have uniformly distributed load the acting point is middle of the beam or middle of the distributed load so this beam length is 12 meters that means this load is acted in middle of the beam that means this length is 6 meters and this length is 6 meters so I mark all information here this is the resultant force and this is the acting point distance between point A and this resultant force is 6 meters right this is the bottom part next I will consider the top part which is this triangular part so this height is 10 and then beam length is 12 meters so I will consider that triangular part alone so here also I have to find resultant force same procedure I have to find the area of the this triangle and it is the resultant force of this distributor load so we you know if we have triangle like this and breadth is B, height is H, I can write area as half times or I can write 1.5 sorry 0.5 as 1 over 2 1 over 2 is equal to 0.5 right so area equals to 1 over 2 times H 
times b so likewise i can find the area of this triangle 1 over 2 over 0.5 times 10 10 is the height 12 is the this beam length so using this relationship i can find the area that is the resultant force of this triangular part then i have to find acting point of this resultant force how i do that suppose we have a triangle of height is h and this is the centroid this is the load acting point is divided into ratio of 2 to 1 that means if the overall height of triangle is h and top to point c height is h times 2 over 3 and other part is h times 1 over 3 so likewise if we consider real numbers if the triangular height is 12 we can write top to c distance is 12 times 2 over 3 equals 8 and bottom part 12 times 1 over 3 equals 4 so that is the basic theory so our triangle is like this right here also ratio is 2 to 1 if the triangular this length is 12 we can write bottom to point c this is the load acting point is 4 4 comes as 12 times over 3 is 8 come comes as 12 times 2 over 3 like I found this before now I can mark the acting point of our problem so this is the 60 kilo newton I found it before and these lengths are I explain how I got these lengths so I now I know resultant force of this distributor load and acting point of this distributor load now I can combine previous one and this one if I draw a free body diagram it's like this this is the uniformly distributed part and this is the triangular part now free body diagram is completed so here I marked support reactions so as I said before if we have fixed support we usually mark three components two force components and one moment components so I marked it a y x and m a and these are the distances to the forces and now I can find these three components first I consider all horizontal forces so if we look at our free body diagram there is only horizontal force that means ax equals 0 right next next I will consider some of all vertical forces if we consider vertical forces this is a vertical force this is a vertical force and here also vertical force so I write I consider the this direction so I write a y plus a y because it's directed to the direction which we consider and minus 60 minus 60 because these forces are downward forces so if I simplify this I can get finally I will take the moment about point A to the counterclockwise direction this direction right so first I will write MA because that is the that is the moment we are going to find and that direction is we mark anticlockwise direction therefore I wrote plus MA then this force moment due to this force is clockwise direction therefore I put minus sign and magnitude is 6t 
and 60 times 4. 4 is the distance between this point and this force, right? Then minus 60. This for this force also clockwise direction we consider counterclockwise direction. This moment due to this force is clockwise direction. Therefore, I wrote minus sign here. And 60 is the magnitude of force, and 6 is the distance between this force and this point. So when I simplify this, I can get ma equals 600 kilonewton meter. So likewise. I can get Ax equals 0 